Gmail accounts are under attack, and the FBI has warned about this rise, suggesting that traditional security measures like passwords might become less effective, leading Google to say it will soon stop using them altogether. Last year, Microsoft observed a staggering 7,000 password attacks per second, more than double the rate from 2023. While this statistic directly relates to password attacks in general, it underscores the intense and growing threat landscape that Gmail users with traditional passwords also face. So in this video, I'll guide you through the best ways to set up Gmail passkeys to properly secure your email account and dramatically reduce your risk of falling victim to these increasingly sophisticated attacks. I saw a few tutorials on this topic, including that by MH Creator and another by All Things Secured, plus one by MK Loves Tech. While I appreciate their attempts, they missed some important aspects, which I will add to this video. Hello, and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. Before we jump in, if this video helps you out and you'd like to support what we do, check the pinned comment below. I've added a useful resource there for you too. Now let's get started on how to set up your Gmail passkey. Head over to your Google account settings on your phone or computer. You can easily do this by clicking on your profile picture in Gmail and then selecting Manage your Google account. Next, on the left-hand menu, click on Security. Scroll down until you find the section labeled How you sign into Google. When you find it, click on Passkeys. You might see a prompt about Passkeys, just click Continue. Now, tap Create a Passkey. Note that to create a Passkey, you'll need to have a screen lock enabled on your phone or computer. This is a fundamental security requirement for passkeys. If you're using an iPhone or Mac, you'll also need to ensure iCloud Keychain is enabled, which we'll touch upon shortly. Your device will then ask you to verify it to you by unlocking your device, usually using your fingerprint, face unlock, or PIN. Follow the on-screen instructions. Once verified, your passkey will be created for this device. It's that simple. You'll likely get an email from Google confirming this new security measure. But what if you want to use your phone's passkey to log in on your computer? Here's how. Before you begin, make sure you have a screen lock enabled on your phone. Additionally, if you're using an iPhone or Mac, there's an additional step involving iCloud Keychain, which we'll cover. On the Google sign-in page on your computer, enter your Gmail address. Then, instead of entering your password, look for the Try Another Way link below the password field and click it. Select Use Your Passkey. You'll then see a QR code on your computer screen. Now, grab your phone and open your built-in QR code scanner app or your camera app, which often has this functionality. Scan the QR code on your computer. On your phone, a prompt will appear asking if you want to use your passkey. Tap Use Passkey and verify your identity using your fingerprint, face unlock, or PIN. You'll then be logged in on your computer. Before we continue, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more tech tips. Now let's continue with how to manage your passkeys and some important things to keep in mind. Back in your Google account security settings, under Passkeys, you'll see a list of all the passkeys you've created. Here, you can review them, rename them to be more descriptive, like iPhone passkey or home computer passkey, and even remove them if needed. Remember, passkeys are linked to the specific device. So, if you get a new phone or computer, you'll need to create new passkeys on those devices. Also, it's crucial to have a screen lock enabled on any device where you create a passkey, as this is what protects the passkey itself. And if you want to set up an iPhone or iPad as a Gmail passkey, then click to watch our next video right here. With this passwordless technology, you are taking a proactive step to protect yourself from phishing and other cyber threats. To explore more Gmail video tutorials, click this card. If this video helped and you'd like to support what we do, feel free to buy me a coffee, links in the pinned comment. Check the description below for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.